welcome back to my channel today's topic is interdependence in nature lesson 14 class 5 in science first of all i will solve some question in book let's start multiple choice questions first which of the following is not biotic components of the environment answer is plant Second, which of this is a primary consumer? Answer, cow. Third, plants requires the flowing for their survival for which of these are they not dependent on animals? Answer, water. Four, which of these mm, food chains is correct? Answer, grass, god, tiger. Five, which of these human activities upset the balance in nature? Answer all of these. Six, which of these is not good for the environment? Answer this, uh, deforestation. Put right, um, true and false. Living things are only dependent on, on other living things. False. Things not on non-living things. False. B. Uh, all food chains begin at plants. True. C. Humans have upset the balance in nature by their activities. True. D. Afforestation uh, is important for restoring the balance in nature. True. Fill in the blanks. The living things around us are the biotic components of the environment. B. A food chain shows who eats that in nature. C. Herbivores are the primary consumers and carnivores are the secondary consumers in nature. D. Cutting down rorests for our needs is known as deforestation. E. A type of animals that no longer exist on, on the earth is said to have become extinct. Okay, student. I will solve some question in book. After this, after that question answer and think and answer in notebook. Interdependence in nature. Lesson 14. Name four abiotic components of the environment that all living things need. Answer the four abiotic components of in environment that all living things need are air, water, soil, sunlight. Both plants and animals need air to breathe. They use oxygen from air to get energy. They also need water to drink. Water is essential for both plants and animals. Four carrying out the life process in the body plants need soil and sunlight sunlight to grow and to make food five list two ways in which plants depend on animals first animals expel carbon dioxide and breathe oxygen second plants provide food and shelter for animals be animal depend on plants answer one animals are required by plants for pollination and seed distribution second some creature uh, consume vegetation six explain the meaning of a food chain with an example a, each living things is a part of multiple food chains for example grass is a part of the food chain grass grasshopper frog snack eagle and also of the food chain grass deer tiger all of the all of the interconnected and overlapping food chain in a habitat make up the food food web seven how has deforestation upset the balance in nature Answer many plants and animals die because of deforestation as it destroys them their natural homes. Deforestation reduces the amount of carbon dioxide observed by trees, hence, increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. 
विच लीड्स टू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एट लिस्ट एनी टू स्टेप्स टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन रिस्टोरिंग द बैलेंस इन नेचर Answer: The Indian government has set up many wildlife sanctuaries, sanctuaries, wildlife sanctuaries, and national parks where hunting is not allowed. This helps to protect the animals and restore the balance in nature. Planting: The government has made special effort in this direction. This cleans the air and protect. wildlife 9 what is rain water harvesting how can it help to increases the level of ground water answer harvesting rain water abuse oh sorry allows rain water allows the collection of large amount of water and mitigates the effect of drought most rooftops provide the necessary platform for collecting water rain water is mostly free from harmful chemicals which makes it suitable for irrigation purpose think and answer suppose first suppose all plants are destroyed what effect will this have on the environment answer plant are the most important part of our ecosystem flowing are a few effect that can be seen if all plants are destroyed first plant provide food to all the animals directly or indirectly so the food chain will be lost if all plants are destroyed plant plants clean up the environment if if there are no plants it result in the issue like air pollution global warming etc animal will lose their habi habitat second there will be no oxygen to inhale hence there will be no life on the earth second in a village people are very afraid of snakes they want to kill all the snakes a scientist advised them not to do this he said this would be harmful for them why did the say so answer snakes feed on small animals like rats that eat up or spoil large quantity of grains and crop if all snakes are killed there will be a rapid increase in the number of rats that will result in a shortage of food this is why the scientist said not be not to kill them third a news items that appeared in a newspaper on 24 december 2010 punjab and haryana high court has directed the georgian ad and administration to ban the use of ground water except for domestic purpose why do you think the high court passed such an order answer ground water is uh, one of the main sources of water if it is overused then the level of ground water decreases if ground water is drawn for all purpose then its level drastically reduce overuse of ground water depletes it at a fast rate so the high court has passed an order to conserve ground water Okay student I have done all question in this lesson if you like my videos please like share and subscribe okay student allah peace bye